Today we're going to be installing ring contact sensors on a double hung window. This is a window with thin clearance in between both windows. These are argon filled double pane windows that you would get from a large company like Window World. These are vinyl. We're going to be using two small profile magnets to accomplish this task, also allowing for the alarm to be activated while the window is open in the slight open position. I'll also briefly discuss some alternative methods that I've used on the same type of windows that have internal lattice work. Let's get started. I'll point out that at the time of this video, Ring has come out with a second version of their sensor. It's just a repackaged version of their first generation sensor. It's a little bulkier than the first generation. It should still work, but I would prefer the first generation for this since it has a smaller footprint. Again, it shouldn't present a problem on the sill because there's enough room on the window sill, but I wanted to point that out. We could see why the install is different because you could open the bottom, of course. And you could also open up the top. In either scenario, one of these two points will always move, so we have to take this into account. Our next consideration will be the security stop right over here, so that the window could be opened up to this point and still allow the alarm to be turned on. The electronic sensor is going to go here as to not obstruct the latch or the window release. And the magnet, the second magnet, is going to go just about here. We're going to see what the position that's going to be to allow the window to open up here in that position. Taking the sensor out of the box at this time so we could do some staging now. As I mentioned before, before I'm committed on the location, I have to make sure the sensor does not obstruct the latch nor the window release. Some window releases, that whole slide moves. So you got to make sure that the slide's not going to move and get stuck on the sensor. So now that I know that it's not going to get in the way, I want it as far right as possible. It's not obscure the view any, and this looks like a good location for it. Here's an example of the entire slide moving as opposed to just a button inside the window release. On these windows, we're looking at a difference here between the frame and the glass, about 5.8 millimeters, or uh, just under 2.3 inches. I'll pull one of the thin magnets out of the bag now. We'll measure that. And we can see that the magnet measures 0.24 inches, slightly proud of the frame, and that's okay because there's still a good amount of distance between the two panes. This gap is more than enough to accommodate that minimal extra distance. So I'll put my adhesive backing on the bracket for the sensor as one normally would. And I have two slim magnets off to the side ready for this procedure. In this case, we see that it's optimal that the magnet's going to come all the way down and rest on that vinyl. Horizontally, however, it'll be situated to be center where that detent is on the sensor. So now I've adhered the magnet to the bottom here in this location. And this would be sufficient if you were just looking to not use the second stop and you just wanted the ring sensor to work with a double hung window. So now I'm going to lower this down just for testing. See that everything fits real nice. We know that this will be a little bit taller once the bracket will be installed on the bottom. So now I'm going to go through my regular installation procedure until I make my way to the test screen. Quick test by proximity shows everything to be working fine with the sensor. And this isn't even at the final height yet, so we know everything's going to be okay. So now I'll secure the bracket. Line the sensor up with the detent and the edge of the window, but don't allow the sensor to overhang. It should come right to the edge. Then it's pressed down into its final position. We could see there's enough gap to accommodate both the magnet and the sensor. We check all the other pieces, make sure there's no interference. Everything looks good. Now we'll start testing with the device. Open window, and we see open window is detected. That's good. Close back up, detected good as well. It should go without saying, but also for good measure, pulling down from the top to open the window also shows an open window detection. Many of these windows have stops like this, which allow the window to be opened a couple of inches. You may want the alarm on with the window open. If all the windows in the house are the same, I generally make a template as the one I'm showing. This is the one from my house, though this template would not work for this window. Initially, the vertical and horizontal location for the second magnet could be uh, set up with a post-it note. If you're not entirely sure about the second magnet, you can leave the backing on and set it up with scotch tape until you have the optimal location. We now see when the window is moved up to that stop, it still engages the magnet, which allows the alarm to be set with the window even in the open position, even on a double hung window. So the window is closed and it shows it to be closed. And I lift it up halfway and it shows it to be open. And then I lift it up all the way to the stop. It again shows it to be closed. Once the alarm is set, however, if you try and move the window or close the window, it will set the alarm off. So that's something to keep in mind. 
See, it is open. Registered is closed. Slide it halfway down, and you can see how it does trip the alarm. So you definitely don't want to try and close the window at night when the alarm's set. But that is a secure way to have the windows open and the alarm on and still be able to monitor somebody from trying to break into it. In this style window, I took advantage of the internal lattice work to conceal the magnets from the view of the window or through the window. These are all the same dimensions pretty much from the other window. However, I ensured that the sensor did not get in the way of any of the other components of the window. So you can see it's very nicely concealed. Uh, the effect of the magnet, how the magnet interacts is different. So you definitely want to make sure that if you're going to go this route, that adequate testing is done to ensure that when it's closed, it's positively closed. And when it's open, it's positively opened in both positions. And I'll stress that this alternate placement is purely cosmetic. It's just to conceal it from the view through the window, nothing more. One set up properly, uh, this one functions just like the other. It's just that the magnet placement uh, can be somewhat different due to the way that the window opens, the spacing between these, the variance between the windows. But in the end result is the same. Well, I hope you found this video helpful for the installation of the ring sensors in double hung windows, especially those with uh, double stops there. Hit that like button and that subscribe button down below for more videos. Helps me out a lot when you do. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Would you like to reply?